Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are finally back here with the action for St. Clair College, and they now have their opponents here. It is Robert Morris University. Usually, wow, right off the bat, I didn't even get to dilly-dally here. There is no time for that with the Saints and their path towards their qualifying uh, for the CCA Summer Series. They want it badly, as you can see. They're getting goals immediately right off the get-go. But Robert Morris University, as I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted, are no slouches when it comes to any eSport titles usually. So I'm very excited to see how these teams come out against each other. But it seems that they're both coming out swinging. No mystery there. But how else the rest of this series will go, that I'm very excited to see. As Illuminous, excited to see that save coming out there. Oh, Nitrix going for a nice clean shot. Seems that Demented, uh, Demented Sheep uh, looking to try to pursue that ball there. Uh, but GJM trying to get the clear. Succeeds, but ultimately Spoods chasing that ball back over to orange side. Now, looks like Robert Morris. They're trying to set something up, but Spoods is going to be able to escape with the ball. Luminous once again catching it, getting control, but Christian's going to steal that one away, leaving Nitrix to chase this one into the corner. Illuminous intercepting, not going to allow anything to break through or turn into an opportunity, but Christian does the exact opposite, steals that one, turns it into two shots, fakes one out, turns that into a shot, but ultimately it's going to get saved out once again. Nitrix trying to follow up off of it, not going to go through. Spoods picking up after Christian, just missing that rebound. Nitrix is going to go for a demo. This is a brief window opportunity. It's going to be gone now, but at least it's going to mount some pressure on Christian going for the shot, rolling it, but not going to find it. Nitrix Nitrix riding the wall now, coming down from the ceiling. Illuminous taking this one away. Saints are relentless right now in their assault. Illuminous waiting for the ball to reach him, but Christian's not going to make that happen. Carrying it through the sky. Spoo's going for a shot. Demented Sheep's going to get a nice clean save. Christian waiting for that ball to come to him, but Spoo's is going to take control, take matters into his own hand, pinching it down, but Illuminous is going to intercept that pinch. And it's going to be a shot on the net, but going to miss by quite a bit. GJM taking the other shot with the nice follow-up from Illuminous. This is the soccer equivalent of an alley-oop. What an excellent play. Centering it right there, right in the air, right, making that basically an impossible save. And now we're tied up one to one, three minutes on the clock. Saints gonna try their best to win this kickoff. I feel like anytime they get the clear advantage on the kickoff, they turn into a goal very soon after, but a pretty neutral one here. Spoons just waiting around the blue corner. Christian going for the tonight's nice setup, but it's gonna get intercepted once more. It seems that Robert Morris won't make the same mistake of allowing the Saints to have uncontested access towards the center field right in front of their net. That seems to be a doom spell. It's unbreakable, pierces BKB. It's not gonna have a chance to really do anything about it once it gets set in motion. Illuminous carrying it, but Spoo is gonna intercept now. Dropping this one to the ground. Demented Sheep waiting for him there. Christian sealing it out. Riding around the corners, taking to the wall, but it's gonna get caught by Luminous, stopping all momentum, preventing a bounce. Spoots gonna be carrying the torch forward. Nitrix not too far behind. Christian going for the nice clear, but it's gonna get intercepted. And in that fact, right off the post, it's gonna get turned into another goal for Robert Morris. Just GJM catches that rebound from himself and nobody from the Saints side was able to make that save. It was going into the corner that nobody was occupying. Great aim, great play, great shot. Robert Morris University now leading 2-1 against the Saints in this game. One, Nitrix getting demoed out immediately. It's going to basically lose all the momentum, all the advantage that they had coming off of that kickoff. It's going to be a nice little reset here as he respawns and the ball goes back over to Blue Nitrix, cutting that one out. It's going to get picked up by Demented Sheep. However, Spoods is trying to go for an interception, but it's going to be too late. Christian, Nitrix, a little bit of a collision there, but still, Christian's going to be able to get that save. JM taking it over to Orange Corner now. Spoods there waiting for him. He's going to lose a 50, but Nitrix almost intercepts it. It's still caught. There's still no, no one's able to catch that ball. It's still rolling through the air, but ultimately, Illuminous going to go for the contest. Nitrix is going to follow that one up. Pick off that rebound. Demented Sheep off the ceiling looking for the pinch. Spoods desperate trying to find something. Goes for the save and it's going to work. 
One minute on the clock. Nitrix going to follow it up and try to get the clear from that save from Spoots, but it's still over on their side of the field. A post. It's going to get hit. Nothing's going to come from it, though. Christian and Nitrix working together to get the ball out of their zone. Now, Spoots trying to meet this one in the air. Not going to get up fast enough, however. Nitrix catches it, takes it right out of orange corner immediately. Spoots even finds a demo in the wake of his destruction. And Christian goes for the shot. And that's going to be a beautiful play. All three Saints working together, collaborating to make that one possible. And now a very familiar situation. Two to two, 40 seconds on the clock. Looks like the Saints, they are not unfamiliar with the circumstance that they're in right now. Maybe Robert Morris, less so. Who knows how their runs have been going, but the Saints are all too used to these high pressure situations. It's still game one, but you definitely want the momentum, you know, pushing your sails on your sea to victory. So taking game one would be huge for either of these teams. A lot less pressure staring down, potential elimination going to the next one. Mentis Sheep trying to turn this into an opportunity here. Spoods sending that one towards the net, but it's going to get intercepted by JGM. Illuminous trying to get this one out of blue corner. Knight's just going to say no. Christian's going to say yes as they try to take it to the center field, but ultimately this is most likely going to go to an overtime as the ball is sent into the air and no one's going to be able to capitalize to turn into a goal. It's still going, however. Spoods, Nitrix on the ground, but it's going to get cut. And we're right back into another overtime. I believe this is the third overtime we're seeing the Saints occupying right now. Very curious to see how they're going to try to turn this one in their favor. Nitrix immediately with the demos. That might be the key, but still a long way to go towards victory. But they're inching ever closer to it. Spoots catching that shot towards orange side. Christian following off, taking it down to the center. Going to get intercepted up by JGM. Christian. Right in the corner, taking it to the center once again. Demented Sheep going to intercept, send it over back to Saint's side. Chasing it around, Illuminous cutting that interception. And it's going to go straight to the center, but a nice interception from Spoods preventing the shot from coming out. Nitrix rolling around, trying to take this out of their side. And they're going to succeed. Christian riding the ceiling and the wall, going to just the ball's going to escape him in that moment. However, Spoods going to be next to get demoed. Nitrix finding his time, catching that one before it makes its way completely over to Orange, but it's going to still pop its way to the corner. Spoots is going to catch it, however, prevent it from making too much further back into their side. Christian and Nitrix contesting over here, competing for the ball. Uh, Christian's going to be able to find that one to the air. Illuminous is going to intercept it into their corner now. Saints are going to have to fight for this one if they want it, and fight they do. Spoots finds it in the air once again. Christian and Nitrix setting things up for themselves. Nitrix going right for it. If he could have gotten that one a little bit lower, he would have been able to fake him out, beat the 50, and take that into a shot. But Christian trying to make this pressure non-stop. It's going to escape him, however. Smooth to Nitrix over on the right side, Christian on the left. Now Christian once again flying through, but JJM is going to beat him to the ball. Nitrix catching that one, taking it up. Spoods finding the rebound as it makes its way back over to Saint's side. Setting this one in. Trying to go for the shot, but no. Illuminous is there to interfere with that one. Demented Sheep carrying this one towards the Saints. But it's a kerfuffle right in front of the net. Unfortunately, no one's going to be able to capitalize off of it on Robert Morris. But right off the post. No, Nitrix just going to miss the clear. But Spoods able to find that one, take it out. Almost three minutes into this overtime. Now Nitrix gets the demo. Can this be an opportunity, a chance to go for the net? No, Illuminous is doing such a great job of stuffing it. And I even find the clear immediately after, but Nitrix catches it, keeps it over onto Robert Morris' side of the field. Spoods waiting on the Saints' side, able to prevent this from turning into a disaster on the offense. And uh, the defense really working in their favor as now Spoods waiting for Christian's ball to do something here, waiting for it to turn into an opportunity. Not even a boost to his name. Christian's still doing a lot of work over on the blue side of the field, but now it's time for Spoots to take over. And rather than that, Dement is going to take over for Spoots as he takes the ball right out of his hands. 
Nitrix is going to find another demo. Spoons and Christian calculating things, trying to make this work. He's going to carry it to the ground, carry it up once more, but Luminous is going to intercept. Very well played. Almost worked in his favor there. Nitrix over into the corner. JGM. What can you do here? Spoots blocking that shot up. Demented Sheep looking for anything. A chance, a hope. Both of these teams locking each other into a bit of a stalemate right now. It's just taking turns back and forth, playing the field. Once again, almost an entire full second game in this overtime. Both of these teams want nothing more than to take this game one. Spoots beating it up in the sky. JGM's gonna swat it down. Christian waiting, waiting. Nitrix not gonna do any waiting. He's gonna get active and pursue the ball. Chris is gonna find a nice demo. Gonna give a little bit of breathing room as Spoots tries to get the clear. JGM waiting from the ground. He catches it, sends it back towards Nitrix as he sends it back to the worst Robert Morris, but they send it right back to him. Nitrix competing with this ball. Making sure it doesn't escape him here. And he's going to send it flying out back to Robert Morris' side. But Illuminous is there. Catches it. Brings it right back to center field. Nitrix now. Looking for something. Men's Sheep goes for the shot. But it's going to get bumped away. Ball will as well. Back to Robert Morris inside. Robert Morris' side. JGM on the ground. Waiting for it. He's going to find the clear. Illuminous with the assist as well. Nitrous and Spoots play on the defense. Christian right in the net, waiting for anything to go wrong. But nothing's going to go too bad. And Christian's going to be able to take this one out of Saints' side. Not going to be able to get that full carryover, however. Spoot or Nitrix trying to make something have work with Spoots. Passing it over, going for the shot, but intercepted once more. Now we are... In our basically second overtime of this game, five minutes, 20 seconds into this one. And Demented Sheep trying to end this one here, and he finds it. That's going to be three to two over the St. Clair Saints in this game one. Don't let that timer fool you. I know we've completed more than two at this point, but we are just going to be heading into game two now. Excellent play by Robert Morris University. And it looks that the uh, game two going to be coming up very shortly. A little bit of a lobby issue, but these players are eager to get back into the swing of things. They don't want to lose this match. I can see it in the way they're playing. The Saints are fighting so, so hard. Robert Morris University, of course, doing a lot of fighting themselves. And they did so they did such a good job at fighting, in fact, that they're able to win that game. I can't believe the amount of overtimes we've seen from the Saints so far two of them making it just to the fi uh, five minutes in fact this one making it past five minutes so they've already played all basically two games against this team here but we're still just making it to game two now robin morris university off of the heels of their victory against the saints game one can they make something happen here in game two or will the saints be able to pull this back and find their victory. The ball's rolling away, Jess almost escapes him, but thanks to the boost that they had in the reserves, they are able to chase it, prevent it from finding its way into the net. Nitrix gonna be able to intercept that roller. Now Spoots trying to turn this into something for his team, but Christian also gonna be doing that amount of work. Spoots setting up for his teammate, tried to get that centered up, but Nitrix doesn't even need it going to be taking that one into the goal as it rolled off the post set up by Christian and Spoots. Nitrix there ready for that shot. Now four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock still ample time to bring this one back. Robert Marius University after that deadlock that complete stalemate of a game one seems the Saints are kind of finding their stride and a little bit of their confidence back against this team. Christian, in fact, going for another shot, but it's going to get intercepted once again. Here, Luminous battling him out. Another shot coming out from Nitrix. No follow-up, unfortunately. Spoots looking to rectify that mistake. Nitrix as well. Christian with a clean shot, bouncing that one out. Demented Sheep is going to get that save. Spoots on the back line playing midfield. He and Christian. Chasing that ball, sending it towards the net. It's impressive how they always angle these clears or these centers straight towards the net so consistently. JGM's gonna get demoed. 
but now Christian riding the wall, sending it once again towards the net, carrying it so carefully. A little too slow, however, it's going to be intercepted pretty easily. And another shot, JGM, Nitrix is going to get a clean save for that. Christian, for his efforts, going to try to get a breakaway, but Spooz is going to have to carry that one forward now as the, another steal is going to come up for Robert Morris University. It's going to hit the ground. It's going to be flying towards Robert Morris inside, and thanks to Spooz chasing that ball, finding the momentum, that's going to be another goal on the board for the Saints. Three minutes remaining. Robert Morris University yet to find one in this game too, but if the last game is an indication of anything, they are more than capable of doing so. But hopefully the Saints have found what they need to make this work for them. And as we're getting right back into this after the kickoff, Spoo is a familiar situation, riding the ceiling, trying to get the ball centered up, good to go. Nitrix almost finds that pinch. That would have been huge for that shot attempt, but Spoo's chasing the ball as it gets cleared out. Now, JGM going for the shot, followed up by Dimension Sheep. That's going to be in. No! Nitrix there for the save. JGM going for another one, but Dimension Sheep able to find it off of that micro pass, basically just bouncing it off of the rim. Look at that, or the post. Very, very briefly, just sending it right at the angle he needed to be. Nitrix, unfortunately, uh, a little too far ahead from that shot. You can't blame him. No one could have seen that one coming. And that's going to be Robert Morris fighting their first against St. Clair College in this game, too. But Nitrix, hey, he didn't like it very much when they scored on him. So he's going to make sure to score right back on them immediately after the kickoff. 3-1 to one now, St. Clair College over Robert Morris University. Another kickoff, another chance for an immediate breakaway shot. Can anybody make this happen? We'll have to wait and see. Not quite, but Christian already trying to make this a very quick one. Luminous riding the wall and stopping that center from making its way. Spoods waiting for Nitrix to get something done here. Christian also on that back line, finding a nice demo, going straight towards the net. Luminous is there, however. Spood stealing it from under Christian. It's going to allow him to ride the momentum, take it towards the center field, but not going to be able to get a clear or a setup shot for him. There's too many Robert Morris agents blocking him out, but Spood with a clean shot. This is just regular old soccer at this point. He went for the save, wrong angle. That's just going to be a nice shot and a goal classic with St. Clair College taking another goal. Another kickoff, another opportunity for both of these teams. We're gonna find a little bit of gridlock there. Bumper to bumper. Two minutes left in this game, four to one, and that's gonna be five to one. In fact, when it rains, it pours with the Saints, five to one now. Against Robert Morris University. Very well done by this team. They've really found their stride after the struggle that was game one. Has St. Clair College figured out Robert Morris University? Unfortunately for them, but fortunately for Robert Morris University, they won game one. So even if they do come out on top in this one, they still have another whole five minute set that they need to triumph over Robert Morris University in order to make it through into the next series of this tournament. But with a five to one advantage over for St. Clair College, a four goal gap. This one's looking to be their game. Christian set up perfectly for Nitrix there, just missing that timing, however. Minute 30 on the clock. Robert Morris University. Well, they might be able to find some goals. I don't know if they can find that many in such a short amount of time. Either way, they're gonna try their best for it, of course, with nothing left to lose. I would expect them to just get super aggressive here. Uh, a five goal gap is not much more scary than a four goal gap. So they just want to try to tie things up, get as many goals as possible. And that's going to mean taking risks, going to mean taking scary plays, scary situations. That's exactly what we're going to be looking to do here with 45 seconds remaining. Demented Sheep and the rest of Robert Morris University squad are not letting off of the gas pedal. JGM trying to intercept that little clean pass, but Nitrix getting that save from the opposite side of things that Demented Sheep shot. Not going to find it. it's Mark Spoots. He's going to get demoed out. Christian chasing that ball over into Robert Morris' side like a missile coming from the heavens. Demented Sheep sends that one directly into the ground. Spoods 
carrying the ball on his roof, launching it just so subtly into the air. Meant to sheep, so close, but not quite smooth now. The corner, a luminous on the ground, but with one second remaining, there's not a chance anymore for Robert University. Robert Morris University to find the goal. That's gonna be game two going to St. Clair College as you can't find four goals in zero seconds. Game two going to St. Clair College, heading into this game three, feeling confident, I'm sure. St. Clair College really doing great work coming back from the uh, just the shortcomings from that first game. But both teams have every chance to surprise us here as we get into this third and final game of the series. Let's see who comes out on top. Whew, as we try to uh, combat my allergies here, definitely gonna have to find a napkin after this game. But hopefully the Saints won't have to find napkins themselves to wipe their tears. Robert Morris University already demonstrating that they're more than capable of overcoming this team. Can they pull off what they pulled off in that previous game and have an even bigger score gap in this game three? Let's find out as the Saints are starting things off relatively scarily, in fact. Robert Morris University already pushing them back into their goal side. Night Strikes clearing it thanks to the help of his team and he's carrying it forward. Chris is not too far behind, capitalizing off of that rebound. Nitrix over on the corner, Christian, Christian and Spooz chasing as well. Christian's gonna go back to the words of that, but Christian and Spooz are gonna maintain the pressure here. It's gonna get cleared out, Christian chasing it. Gonna try to reset it, but it's over, back. Now back towards the center, Spooz spinning through the air. Nitrix is gonna be the one taking the initiative, but it's gonna go right over his rooftop. Spooz on the ceiling, taking the ball to the ground. Nitrix doing the same, Christian, a little bit of a defensive wall, preventing them from getting too close for comfort. Spoods in the net, clearing that one out, finds the opportunity for it in Luminous, trying to do the same. A lot of mirrored gameplay going out on both sides of the field is definitely beautiful to watch. No goals yet. Both of these teams remaining steadfast. And now Nitrix setting that one up. Spoods, however, oh, so close. Illuminous intercepting that, seeing where it was going, did not like that one bit. Changing the angle. Spoods chasing it once more. But the Sheep trying to get it over Nitrix, and he sees the Christian's gonna get demoed as he chases that one out, trying to corral that one back into the center. Spoods, however, he's there as well, and it's all over on Robert Moore's side. They were down one for a little bit, but they're still having, uh, holding strong. Nitrix, Christian, and Spoods passing back and forth to try to find something. Sending it to the air. Can Spoods find something? It's not going to get intercepted. Luminous went for it, however, pinching it off the top post. Nitrix trying to find something, but it's going to get sent to the ground by Robert Morris University's finest here. Spoods chasing that one over to the corner. It's going to get launched into the sky. Nitrix on the ground in the trenches, doing all the battling he can, and he takes that one right into the net, taking it 1 0 against Robert Morris University. Now, heading into this next kickoff, I'm sure the Saints, they're gonna be battling it out and doing their best to make sure they can maintain this goal lead. As Nitrix already finds this first demo of this kickoff, and Spoods now just watching the ball, waiting for it. Nitrix chasing it up. Christian, like a missile from downtown, but intercepted once again. Robert Morris University always there to stop these really dangerous shots. They never want to let any of these slip through. The Saints are so good at finding them and setting themselves up for it. Christian once again, missling his way in, but Luminous off of that uh, back post, back wall rather, able to prevent it from being a nice center. Spoods into the corner now. Christian chasing it. Not gonna find it, however. Loses 50, Nitrix intercepting that clear. Christian up in the sky as well. Now, the ball is calming itself down momentum-wise in front of Robert Morris University, but they're gonna find the clear. Nitrix passing that one up over 
the uh, attacker from Robert Morris University and Luminous is going to do the same, returning the favor right back over the state side, and that's going to be a very nice shot, one to one, and it's also one to one in the series points. Things are getting scary for both of these teams. One minute, 50 seconds remains. This is anybody's game here, ladies and gentlemen. Loser is eliminated. Winner advances on. Who is going to overcome here? Let's find out after this kickoff. Is there going to be any overwhelming advantage for either of these teams? No, not quite. But Robert Morris University, in fact, Christian's actually going to be able to steal that clear. Trying to find his way back into it. Doing such a great job of maintaining control of this field. Saints are, but Illuminous looking to make a mistake into a goal. Robert Morris University now up one over St. Clair College. Saints were looking so, so good before, but now it's looking to be slipping out of their hands. Can they tie this up before one minute and 34 seconds elapses and they find their way out of this tournament? Only time will tell, but if the history is repeating anything so far, if trends go to show, the Saints have so much fight in them. When it comes to these uh, back against the wall scenarios, they strike and they fight like their life depends on it. Christian Spoots now trying to maintain control. Like I said, doing a great job of controlling the field. Not going to get intercepted. Christian going for the shot and it's tied up. Spoots carrying that forward for him. That's going to be a shot and a goal for the Saints. Tied up 2-2 now, just like we were in game one. A minute on the clock. Is this going to overtime again or can either of these teams find an opportunity to get a goal before then? As we head into the kickoff once again, these teams are looking to be in a very strong form. Great performance so far from both of them. But Illuminous, alongside the rest of Robert Morris University, Nitrix riding around the ground now into the air, meeting them halfway. Illuminous bouncing that one back. Spoots sending that one into the ground once more. Christian trying to find it, but it's going to get intercepted. JGM, he's even going to get bumped for shovels. They really don't like this guy on the field. They want to make sure he has as hard of a time as possible. And I really feel that pressure. A shot coming out. Robert Morris University is just going to miss the angle. Nitrix taking this one forward. Can you find it, buddy? I believe in you. JGM going to take that one away, stealing their hopes and dreams. Spoots into the corner. Now Christian going for that clear. He finds it. No one's going to even dare contest, and they know he He's Demo City, and he's carrying it forward into the net, but JGM's there to stop him. Spoots riding the wall now into the corner, going for a pinch. Nitrix is there, but it's not going to go the way they wanted it to. Now Christian with a nice sick drift is going to try to catch the ball, but they're going to demo him out, just basically guaranteeing now that we will be going to an overtime with these teams here. Yet again, Christian going for a shot, actually, but no, it's going to get sent to the ground. We are going through an overtime and with zero seconds on the clock infinite time to work with here these teams are going to be fighting until someone falls it is a battle to the death Spoods goes for the shot Illuminous is there to say no however once again going for it but intercepted this time it's not even going to make its way towards the net Christian cutting that ball short making sure it doesn't escape their clutches, escape their talons, escape their claws, but Dementus Sheep might be a wee wolf in sheep's clothing here as he's looking to get aggressive, pursue the ball. St. Clair College riding this ball down. Nitrix into the corner, intercepted by Dementus Sheep once again. Christian sending that shot forward, but Luminous is there to make the save. Robert Morris University, they are not leaving any gaps in their defense because they know it's spelled a disaster in this situation. They've come so far. They don't want to go down here. Neither do the Saints, but someone has to lose. Someone must fall. Spoods wanting to, to be Robert Morris University as he tries to get the interception and make it perfect setup for his team. Going to get intercepted once more. Christian setting that one, cutting it short once again, but a shot from Demented Sheep is going to end St. Clair College's run. A great set up self pass and a cut from his teammate ensuring it goes in and that is going to be the end for St. Clair College Robert Morris University with a very impressive showing is going to overcome our team and send us home packing unfortunately for the Saints they did such a great job playing Night Tricks really coming out and showing how strong of a player he really is playing with the rest of the team oh, what an excellent match they all played so well together it was 
some of the best Rocket League I think I've seen in such a long time. Honestly speaking, when the stakes are so high, it's hard not to get caught up in it. And again, those three players just playing so well together. But unfortunately... That's going to be the action here for today. The Saints are eliminated from this tournament. But, you know, hopefully we'll see some more Saints action down the line, maybe as we come back in September. But that's going to be it for us here today. I've been your commentary for today, Daniil, also known as Betis and McGee in the back. We've got Tommy and we've got Ari. But that's going to be it from us. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon. And, uh, of course, we have to thank our sponsors, Tim Hortons, Subway, HyperX, St. Clair College Alumni Association, and the St. Clair College SRC for making this all possible. But once again, we're calling the action short for here today. Saints are not going to be able to qualify for the CCA Summer Series, but our spirits are still high. Hope to see you again soon, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you have a great day.